So I, you know, I love being back home in Canada. It's always such an amazing warm welcome, and it's just amazing. Um, so first of all, also thank you to Elle for this insane event. When I got here, I was like, oh my god, they really pulled out all the stops. It's such a cool venue. Um, and a big thanks to Sorel Boots for making it happen. I've got a pair of cool boots in the back, which I'll be putting on later to walk Reggie. <laughs> Um, so they basically said I had 15 or 20 minutes to talk. So I didn't prepare anything, but I'm just gonna wing it. You guys know I've got no problem doing that, so we're gonna just talk. Um, by now you've probably all seen Bloom, my book, which is right here. Hi, Matty. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> Al Canada. Something search wrap up party, and there's a day. Oh, I didn't think this through, but. Hope you can see her over there. And here I'm Mandy. And we're drinking coconut water. <laughs> and I'm vlogging with my phone. It's so weird because I can see myself. I'm sitting here waiting because there is a crazy lineup for the book. And there's a San Island. Mandy. <laughs> She's hiding. Um, so we're at this L. E. Alcana style search something wrap party and they have hand massages and they have um, manicures and then Estee and Aslan are up there and they're, she's signing her book Bloom and we're in line! Books! I don't want to trip over the line. Pile of books! Closer. There's my book. There they are. I do really go up high when I'm excited. <laughs> Navigating life and style. Um, I think I have a life, but style? I don't know. I wonder where the mic is on this phone. We're next. We're going together. <laughs> We're next. We're next. That's probably a really bad angle, but it's okay. On me! Is this a bad angle? <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Thank you. Hi! Hi. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Are you recording? Yeah, I'm trying to like, vlog. Turn it on for the camera. Where's Mary? Mary is at home, probably <laughs> watching TV right now. In fact, I know that's what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> came back from the what was it called Al Canada style search rap party and the featured guest was Essay Lalon um and I just came back home and it's so hot I'm sweating so ignore me but um I'm still vlogging on my phone so it's really weird because I keep looking at myself and I should be looking here and then I want to show you what I got in the swag bag uh because this event was like 40 bucks um, for a ticket and then they said that you get her book and uh, bloom and we got her autographed and then also you would get a swag bag that had like $150 worth of goodies so I'm excited to dig in and show you guys and also it's Thursday night right now so usually I don't vlog on a Thursday night but as it kind of leads into Friday we're okay and I'm vlogging this on my camera so hopefully it doesn't look or on my camera on my phone so it doesn't look super different but it probably will but we're just gonna mesh it together and we'll be okay and I will show you with the other camera because I'm using the front facing I'm pretty sure the back the back facing one the rear camera is better quality so, so one. ignore the fan because it's loud but this is the book and it says courtesy of L VIP events and experiences and so that's Bloom. There's Estee. And then they put like the poster of your name so that. And it says to Wendy Hart Estee. So cute. And also, oh, in the back I have a photo with Mandy who went with me. Um, you would have seen her in the video already. Oh, 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 book for No! Oh, got the edge. Oh, so dramatic. Anyway, um, that's our L magazine cover and we're so orange like the camera 
It's, well, like, the printer printed so orange. It was, like, Oompa Loompas. But, yeah, that's our magazine cover. So we got this bag, and it says TVA Publications, because I guess that's who publishes um, the Owl Magazine, Owl Canada. Um, we got this. What is this? Lint the Season. Some magazine for lint. Oh, it has recipes in it, like chocolate recipes. And then, obviously, must be an L magazine. And this is the November issue. Oh, I need to sit. I'm tired. Oh, focus. Oh, I like this because it can focus. Oh, what does this say? Um, L Sex and Relationship Survey Contest. Okay. Right. Oh, no, it's blowing away into the abyss. Piece of paper does not want. Whoops. Oh, this is too hectic for me. Then we got a Lint Excellent 70% Cacao Dark Chocolate Bar. Then another piece of paper here. Oh, a survey. Look at that later. Let's get to the exciting stuff. Uh, ooh, oh, this is like full size. We got a Smashbox photo finish. I wanted to touch here to focus. Uh, a Smashbox photo finish. Oh, God, why won't you focus? Smashbox photo finish primer oil fee. Oil fee. Oil free, not a fee. Um, so that's super cute. And then we got this Dr. Robux Ultimate Hydrating Serum. This is for your face perhaps then we got a ooh, we got a lancome juicy shaker in grapefruit which i do not believe i have great fruit like grapefruit let's look at this asap <gasps> Ooh, it's like a corally color mm, i don't know if it's my color but I'm excited to try it and then some more what is this columbia guest pass Shop the employee store for the latest from our entire brand family. Four guests. Expires December 1st. What? It's in London, Ontario. Um, the event was in Toronto. <laughs> How am I going to get here? It's too far. Um, ooh, it says, oh, a gift. What does this say? A gift. Oh, maybe that. Oh, that was... I think this is, oh, this is for the H&M gift card, I'm assuming, and that was $10 on it. Stay still. And then lastly, two OPI polishes, well, a top coat, which, yeah, it's a top coat, and then um, a nail polish in the color, things are flying. Focus, 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 OPI red. So yeah, that's exciting. That was a pretty good, decent gift bag. Um, oh my god, I'm so tired right now. That's it. That's everything in the gift bag. Like, ignore the laundry behind me. But, yeah, so that was fun. Um, it lasted, like, three hours. We were there, like, seven, and we left at almost ten. Um, they had drinks. I hope I filmed enough footage. And we met Estee, we met Aslan. They're so nice. Um... It was fun. Um, we even saw her mom. Her mom was there, but no Mary, unfortunately. So, but I remember on her vlog that she said that Mary would be at the book signing in Waterloo. So that's cool. Probably because this is like a night event in Toronto. But anyway, I had a lot of fun and I'm just having like a total fangirl kind of moment right now. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Grabbing my camera. Where is he? I think my finger was on the mic. Anyway, this is my OT for today. Um, my bag isn't closed, but it's same around. My dress is, I believe, from Gap. I have a belt by Kate Spade. My jacket is from Banana. Uh, my new fur vest is from Old Navy, as you would have seen in the last vlog. This hat, I believe it's either... I think it's Forever 21, yeah. And then my tights by Hugh and my boots by Clarks. I need new boots. Okay, um, I'm gonna go head off to Brennan's now and I will see you later. We finally got our food. We ordered George's, George's, George's chicken and ribs, I believe it was called. 
from Uber Eats. And we got a dozen wings with the poutine. I wish they put them in different containers. And then um, quarter chicken with half rack of ribs with rice and a potato salad. Can't even barely see that because of the light. I was kind of disappointed because it said we chose this place because it said it would be 19 to 30 minutes. But it's taken like an hour basically to get here now. Like I could order another restaurant that time. And also we asked for cutlery, ketchup, and napkins and nothing. Nothing but the food. Uh, it's not even focused, but these are good chicken wings, but lacking a lot of chicken wing. I mean, compared to our French fry, the fry has more sustenance. <laughs> good morning. It's Saturday morning, and it's 10 after 10, so <laughs> it's pretty early for me. I got up at like 9. 30 or just before 9 30 I like woke up at 9 but I made breakfast for one and it's so cold this morning that I made a cozy breakfast um I don't know what you call this like kind of stuff on the bottom <laughs> like it's like you know those skillet things I think this is what they're like I've never really had one but it's some um, leftover potato wedges chopped up and then I did some broccoli some spicy salami in it with some shallots and some um, green onions and then I fry that all up in some olive oil and then I put some mozzarella shredded mozzarella on it and then I did an egg sunny side up and put it on top with some cracked black pepper ah, I'm so excited to dig into that and also my cup of tea we're gonna wake up and be awesome. Hello, ready to go. My OOTD, because it's chilly out and I'm wearing rain boots. I think it makes me look really short because my coat's all on, but I don't know what else to wear to go apple picking. Anyway, so my new bag. It's my Dolce Gabbana and my scarf, Forever 21, I believe. My coat is from Banana and yeah. Cozy up. Okay. Hello, we are currently at Applewood Farms because we're going to be apple picking. Woo! They're so excited. <laughs> Here's the first car. The farm looks like there's a winery. No, Wendy, I don't even know if you can hear me, but yep, it's right there. We're in the orchard, right? Right? It's an orchard? Yes. What, what Here's the people. So trying to plan where we're going because we want to pick is it ambrosia or ambrosia because they've been saying zia and i'm like the dessert's called ambrosia <laughs> yeah this is fine it's really cold up here <laughs> i stole tracy's gloves <laughs> or mitts whatever oh, you call these we're all freezing and then the only washers up here are porta potties <gasps> we don't do porta potties <laughs> gotta hold it in <laughs> Oh, look at this sad little tree. Guys, I think the tractor's this way. We're on the tractor now to go pick some apples. Here's the people. Someone's singing. There's the tractor. Okay, guys, look. I'm going to pick apples. Look, everyone's already munching away. Look at this one. She's really serious. <laughs> it's a cold day for apple picking. And there's more apples here. These are empires. And there are the ladies. I don't know if you can see anything. I can't see anything because of the sun. This is what I resorted to because it's so cold. I'm going to go scare some people. But yeah. Dynamic. Back. <laughs> <laughs> throw back. Okay, I'm gonna throw. Hold on. Tracy's out there watching us. What the? <laughs> she touched my throwing. Bro, I, was, I was never. Oh, my, I was never. Okay, okay, okay. I need space. Oh, my apple was so apple. sticky, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Ready? Winding up. <laughs> Look at that apple go. <gasps> Guys, those are really hot. Oh, you got down another apple. I'm a murder boss. Where right, right. Did Julie go yet? Yeah. Oh, 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 so far, who's the furthest? Me? Yeah. 
Where Tracy is. Okay, where Tracy is at, and then I got Mine wasn't that bad then. I threw straight. I'm throwing one again. Mine was uh, mine was one of those, Donna. Mine was one of those, and it dropped, so you can't hit it. We're on the tractor and going back. This time we're sitting in the front, and it's scarier. Where are the seat belts? Feet are dangling. <laughs> I'm wearing my rain boots. Are you getting on? <laughs> Playground here. Do you even have a little chest bag? There's also two applewood. It's our backyard. And it's a little playground. And there's a chest bag. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, and there's tires. I'm cold. We're just getting up the table. Just bought an apple crumble pie from here and it's actually not baked on site it's baked at their friend's bakery but they uses their apples i'm excited to eat this now we're just going back to the car oh that's a lot of birds so cute. It's like the entrance. Yeah. We're in the farmlands, guys. I'm in Sophie's car now. Oh lord. Got some tasty patties. I Got our souvenir bag from Sophia. Just got my Taiwanese fried chicken with soup noodles on the side. Looks good. Hello, it is Sunday morning. <laughs> it's not Sunday morning. It's Sunday evening. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyways, um, I'm not feeling well today. So, I haven't been vlogging. We didn't even do anything. We've been just resting in bed. And I just had some dinner. And now it's time to say goodbye to the weekend vlog. I didn't want to leave Sunday just hanging. So, have a good week. And I will see you next again. Bye. I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you what I hauled from the farm. From Applewood Farm. Yeah, I needed a box to bring everything home because so much crap. And I'm so thankful my friend Tracy delivered these. It's actually Monday today, and I left them in her car because it was way too heavy to bring home by myself. Let's start with the first thing. I bought a bottle of Applewood Farm Winery Proprietor's Reserve from 2014. It's a bottle of red. It said it was very dry, so that's good. I think my dad likes dry red wine. Then I got this applewood iced cider from 2010 and it's an iced cider kind of like an iced wine but made from apples so i got that from my mom because she likes iced wine i think <laughs> to the best of my knowledge and then i got myself this um it's called the mac mead and it's a sparkling wine made from macintosh apples i believe yeah and these are all products of Canada, made in Stouffville. Um, and then I got some for for so many holes. Oh, you can't find anything. <laughs> I got this bottle of Applewood Farm Winery Apple Barbecue Sauce. She said it was sweet, so I'm excited to try that. Then I have another jar of sauce here. It is a hot eggplant relish, and it looks like that. It looks good. I've never had eggplant relish, so that's exciting. There should be another, yep, right over here. 
I got this apple salsa. She said it was quite um, like, a, I guess, a medium spice, but she said it really depends on how spicy the jalapenos were because it's made in like batches. So apple salsa, exciting. And then lastly, I got two jars of honey. First of all, I got this wildflower honey. That's the light one, like a regular kind of honey. And then I got this bottle that's like this really dark honey. It's called buckwheat honey. And I got it because it said that it was good for colds and coughs, which my sister has. And she was drinking honey, so I thought that'd be good for her. And that is everything. And I hope you enjoyed my little haul. Thanks.